but how do you how do you keep kids off of video games? Any other tips? Give them more important things to do. That's the main thing. The reality is that people will use video games, and like Charles said, a 13-year-old will want to say, I'm now old enough that I can accomplish something. And so video games give a false sense of accomplishment. Instead, go out and let them accomplish something. Figure out something they can do and put them in the situation so that they can do it so they don't get the false sense of accomplishment. They get the real sense of accomplishment. I mean, we did a video series, I and mean, I'm not saying everybody has the resources or the time or whatever, but we did a, a history series. When How old were you, Josh, when we started that? Uh, 18. Were you 18? No, you were, you were, no, you were younger no, than that. 16, I don't know. But we said we're going to accomplish real things, and that will give them far greater satisfaction than getting the next level of a video game. But if all you do is give them fake things to do, then the video game will give them the most reward. So you have to give them other things that are more rewarding to do. And there's lots of things in the world that you can give more rewarding to do. You have people that, have, that need help. There's a widow nearby that needs, I mean, you go and help them. You, there's so many things that you can do that will give them a greater satisfaction because it will be real than a video game. As far as act, like the practical, you know, how do you keep the children from playing video games? I mean, I think parents really need to control their children's access to computers and phones because if they have unfettered access, I mean, you should hope they're playing video games because there's a lot worse things they could be doing if they have unrestricted access to technology. So I think, I think that's an important thing is, I mean, you should, you know, practically you should be able to control whether your children have video games. Now, how you deal with that relationally, that's another question, but you really need to, you know, have the control over their devices and what they're doing on them. And I will say related to that is, if you're spending four hours a night playing video games or four hours a night watching television or four hours a night watching movies, you are teaching them this is the goal of life. So you are <laughs> teaching them this is how you get satisfaction. This is how you become happy. Don't kid yourselves. You are their primary teachers even before you homeschool. Even if they're a teenager, they're learning most things from you and not from the public school. And so you know, a lot of ways that you keep them from watching vid or playing video games is you stop playing them. The practical note, how do I keep them from reading because all they want to do is play video games all day? Take a hammer to the video game. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not kidding. The reality is, is video games are very distracting. The, the amount of time that we waste as a society and as a culture with, with entertainment like that. What you need to do is shift your children's entertainment to things that are more useful. And in the end, if you can get them to do more useful things, they will find that more entertaining. Because in the end, as Charles was saying earlier, you know, how many, how many spaceships can you kill? So what, you sc scored 100,000 and you've set a new record for the highest score. Two seconds later, it means nothing. You build a, a shed and you go put your tools in that shed and then a week later you go put your tools in that shed you remember, hey, this is something real that really affects my life and makes my life easier. I mean, uh, one thing on that is it's a lot better if, it's, if, you, if you never never start than if you, I mean, if you have a 16-year-old, that's a lot more trouble. I mean, it's always better to, or the, with video games and things, I mean, you aren't losing anything by not having them up. So better to, better to start by not introducing them. Even if you're not sure whether you want them to do it, just start by not. <laughs> Because it's a lot easier to to not to add them in than take them away. And I have seen people that take them away, and after two years of great difficulty, the child came to them and said, "You know, this is good for me that I'm not allowed to use video games anymore." So you can take it away. It's worth the fight. It will have that big of an impact on the rest of their life.